WRTV Streaming News is sponsored by Tom Wood Group. I'm Nicole Griffin bringing you the latest WRTV headlines. Two 17 year old males are facing charges after police say they brought guns to school. Police arrested the teens at Kip Indy Legacy High School on Tuesday. According to police reports, the guns were loaded and one was equipped with a machine gun conversion device. The district tells WRTV in a statement their school resource officer and leadership team worked closely with IMPD. Officers were immediately on side and swiftly addressed and resolved the situation. A teenager is facing a murder charge after a shooting on Indy's west side. It happened just after six Wednesday morning near Girl School Road and Rockville Road. Officers found a man laying in the front yard of a home. They say he was shot by a 16 year old. Security video from a neighbor shows a man wearing a ski mask and looking into a car. Neighbors believe the man who was shot and killed was breaking into cars in the area. My son had came home from work and he, when we, he told me there was somebody laying there in front of my house and by the side of our house. When we went out there, and I'm, we called 911 of course, and they tried to give him, tried to give him chest compressions and everything else, but unfortunately his eyes were unresponsive. But he had a ski mask on. And an IMPD spokesperson would not confirm if the shooting was related to any break-ins. The Marion County Prosecutor's Office will review the case and make a final charging decision. A tribute to honor the impact a Carmel lacrosse coach had on the sport and thousands of kids. Schools from across the state and coach Jack Meacham's lacrosse family came together on Wednesday night. According to the Hamilton County Sheriff's Office, Meacham was driving east on State Road 38 when an oncoming pickup crossed the center line and hit his vehicle. The other driver also died. It is not clear why they crossed the center line. Carmel High School's principal says Meacham has been dedicated to the lacrosse program for the last six years and mentored athletes on and off the field. The school is providing counseling to students.